All right, I finally got the uh, Raspberry Pi uh, adapter, the Wi-Fi adapter, the official device here. I cut it out already, but I bought two of them. As you can see, one's been taken apart, but the one that hasn't been taken apart. There we go. And it does come like that, and that's all it is. That's pretty small. Oh, uh, right next to this guy. Here is just the eating max just to compare. Oh, it's a little, it's it's bigger than the EDI Max or ED Max or whatever it's called. Probably a comparison. Um, let's take a look at the box first. Okay, that's all it is, and pretty plain vanilla. Doesn't really, you know, oh, it's a uh, B. BG and N standard USB 2. Um, let's buy it back of the box. Uh, this just came in from Adafruit uh, from New York City. And um, I actually had another box. Here's the other box, and here's the uh, sheet of paper. And it's just this. That's all it's inside a blank page and this uh, scary warning. I just want to read that. I'm sure you enjoy reading that. Alright. Oh, in the back of this guy here. It's the Broadcom, Broadcom uh, uh, chipset, and so let's. I got this uh, OTG cable and my Raspberry Pi Zero. Uh, this was, I was able to grab one when it first came out, so let's plug it in, and it should work right away. And there it goes. And first thing you notice is. Uh, the lack of uh, light show. It's got no lights. <laughs> see, the case which I took apart on the other one, you can see there's no holes in it. So there's no uh, place for lights. And on the circuit board, it's just the other Pi uh, thing that I took apart. There's no lights there. There's no idiot lights there. The lights, those are all uh, capacitors and uh, diodes and resistors. And diodes in reverse is a resistor. And so it's a Broadcom. Okay, Broadcom. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's take a look and okay. So it's connected, but there's no way to show you that it's connected. So no lights or anything, but it's uh, booted up. See, so booted up just fine. Okay, but well, unfortunately, there's no uh, way to show you as proof that it uh, works, except that I got I mean, to ping it. But anyway, um, yeah, there's no, no light show. And uh, I had this on for a couple of days, and um, it didn't heat up much. It was pretty uh, low temperature, so you don't have to worry about it getting hot. The uh, 80 max. Uh, which is tiny, it actually gets a little hotter than this guy, than the uh, white one here, the uh, Pi. Um, so anyway, um, when I took it apart, it um, was actually like this. Uh, 
like this. And then just switch insert inside. see this was covered on top like that and and I took a little bit of knife work to uh, pry out I took a knife and I pried this out cover cover out and then this uh, USB cover here the uh, steel, stainless steel cover here took a little bit of time to pry out also So um, yeah, so it looks like uh, you got the little antenna here. So it's soldered on. It's just an etched on antenna, and this little zigzag here also part of the antenna. Yeah, this this uh, shell here, this uh, stainless steel steel shell here also acts as a, a heat sink because uh, this little tab here bends down a little bit. You can notice. It's hard to see. But anyway, bends a little bit down and then uh, covers the, when you put it in, when you reassemble it, it goes right over the chip and it acts like, like a little uh, heat sink. When you put it back together, it's going to be like that and so just paste the heat. Take a little heat. There's no heat sink grease or anything like that. Um, so yeah, that's it. It's uh, there's not much to say about it. it just uh, just works right away. Um, I'm gonna unplug and plug it back in. It still work. Okay. Uh, okay. Thanks for watching.